What's going on guys? Garrett here from the Jobless Gamers channel and today we're doing Squadcast episode 36 with Mr. Boss of the Wind. Hello. The Saints fan. What up? And our special guest, Quantum. Glad to be here. Now this Squadcast is a weekly podcast that we do every single Saturday covering GTA 5 and GG Online news. And today's topic is going to be everything that came out with the most recent update to GTA 5, which is now PS4 and Xbox One versions. Now before we do jump into all this lovely information, we do have a sponsor for today's Squadcast. And Ross, do you want to explain to the users who Cladwell.com is and why they are a sponsor for today's episode? Yeah, absolutely. So they approached us and they felt that we had a good audience to talk about this. So basically, Cladwell is a totally free website that gives you a personal roadmap to dressing better. Now, we're all gamers. So that means, you know, sometimes we don't have the best fashion sense. You know, a lot of times we want to just roll with, you know, the gym shorts and T-shirt. But a lot of times you need to, you know, dress better. And that's where Cladwell gotta look comes good. In. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to look good because there's occasions where you got to go out. You got to look good. You got to put GTA 5 down sometimes. You know, you can't do it 24 7. There's got to be times where you got to go out. So basically, Cladwell is a combination of art and science, and they have fashion experts combined with smart fashion algorithms that allow you to dress for success and also save money in the process. Yeah, and I know so, me and Garrett have been, we're, we're, I don't know, we're not going to lie. You know, our outfits, our fashion sense is not the best, but this website has definitely helped us a lot in getting, uh, you know, getting to look better. So it's great. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool website. You can actually go on there and you can choose what kind of styles you like. Maybe if you like the more relaxed styles, you can choose that. If you more you want to dress to impress, you can choose that. If you There's a whole bunch of options. It's very easy to use. I'm personally going to be using it, especially when we're going up to uh, recent trips and events, especially because Christmas is coming around the corner. I'm going back home. I want to look good for my family, and Cladwell.com will definitely help Plus, me it's do warm that. in Miami. You, know, yeah, you got to get those warm clothes. My, exactly, and it's cold over here in Washington. But with all that said, make sure you guys do check out Cloudwell.com. There's a link down in the description at the top of our video. And let's jump right into the information about GTA 5 on Next Gen. And, Ross, you want to go ahead and take it and talk about the new things about GTA 5 on the PS4 and Xbox One that we enjoy and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess I'll start with the returning stuff because I know a lot of you guys, if you're watching us, you're most likely returning from a 360 or a PS3, which means you got a lot of exclusive content that's just for you. So that's special stuff. Um, I know a few things in particular. The Dodo Seaplane and the Duke of Death, some of the two coolest vehicles in the game. Like I don't know about you guys, but the Duke of Death is nuts. That's one of the yeah. funnest vehicles I've ever The Duke's driven. is my favorite car now, Yeah, by the far. Duke's in general, which is available to everyone. And that's something we can talk about as well, those three new vehicles. Yeah, but even first person, the Duke of Death, like with the, the bulletproof windows and stuff, like it's so much fun. Even though it's so hard to see because like you have like a little slit to look through. But just something about it is just, I don't know, it's really awesome. Although I was kind of disappointed it wasn't an online. What do you guys think about about some of the, the, the exclusive stuff? Online? Yeah, I mean, if they took off the, uh, like, the bulletproof windows or, like, made them not really bulletproof, like, they just looked bulletproof, I think it would be good. I don't know. I mean, th they could balance it for sure. You At would least think. as a Pegasus vehicle, I'd yeah. say it'd be fine. I mean, that would kind of suck, but, I mean... But it has a Better ton of customization nothing. option in campaign. That's the yeah, only that's like true. downside. Yeah. So I, I would hate this, for it to be like so great in campaign and, and then make suck them upgrades. I was hoping that it would be like an upgraded yeah. version of the Dukes, like you know, like you could put like the separate, yeah, exactly. uh, that's what I'm you saying. know, bulletproof windows or just the, like the bars, not even could make you them bulletproof. How expensive that would be Dude. in multiplayer. Jesus, like, a neon <laughs> light is like ten grand. <laughs> ten like, grand. Mine was like twenty grand, man. All about them shark cards. Oh but, man, jeez! I can't imagine how much the money, money over yeah. there. <laughs> Ridiculous. But I know that you know the GTA Five in general. We did get it early. Um, we got it about seven days earlier than everybody else because we we had to find. No, we didn't. Get, we got it a couple days. We didn't get it seven days early. We got it about oh, well, three sorry, days. We've had, early. So we, we've had it for seven days. Yeah. Sorry. And we we got it three days early just about. And we went. I mean, we searched everywhere for an early copy. We were to find one. And when we got it, I mean, the first impressions. I want to hear what you guys first thought once you jumped into the game. So, awesome. When you first picked up your controller, loaded in your CD or your disc, what did you feel from the GTA? Like, what was the difference? Yeah, well, I mean, right off the bat, you knew it was a new experience. Like, I, I told this in a couple of my commentaries or videos over the past couple of days, but I literally, for the first, like, hour and a half, just walked around. Like, in first person, I went from the city... And then I, I took a car up to the north into, like, Mount Chile, but then I got out, was walking around, just seeing all the new, the lighting, the shadows, you know, some of the new animals. Man, it, like, it's, it's, 
it's great. It's great. It really is. What about you, Ross? How do you feel like when you first picked the controller and started playing GTA 5 on I, or next well, I, one? I do what I typically do when I play GTA. I drive around for two hours and just like explore. Well, yeah, that's because it's... yeah, Rockstar gave us a lot of information, but I was mainly just like it was a nostalgia factor because it's like you a lot of the content we do is Grand Theft Auto Online, and it's like whoa, it's like this is single player again. This is a crazy world that I've kind of forgotten about. So, yeah, and that was just one of the exploring. things. That I mean, because we we pretty much all play the story, you know. Obviously, some of us know or remember the story better than others, but uh, we've all played it. And I don't think the story was was such a big draw to it. Was but like the exploring part, seeing say, the Duke's random event or the seaplane random event, like these new random things that they added. And even you know, we're still finding stuff to this day. They have the peyote plants that turn you into animals. Like that's crazy. They have the mine shaft that we can now explore. Like who who knows what else they're hiding? Yeah, I'm really happy everything's going so well with the next gen. What about you, uh, you uh, Quantum? How do you feel about when you pick up the controller for the first time? Well, I didn't get it early like you guys, but the entire weekend I had these guys just in awe of how amazing it was. Just playing it nonstop. They wouldn't play anything else with me except just play that on their own in single player. But when I finally picked it up and I went online, like you instantly know that it's completely revamped. Everything looks amazing. Just I obsessed over puddles for five, ten minutes. <laughs> Same here, man. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. I mean, it's unbelievable how amazing it looks. And the first person just adds to that. You just feel so immersed. Now, there's been a lot of, I guess, controversy or love and hate in the community in regards to the online scene for Xbox One and PS4. And all of you are saying that there's not enough. Do you guys feel that's a huge yeah. statement? Well, I think what happened, and I'm hoping maybe in DLCs it'll get better, but... They definitely focused more on single player, like as a revamp. Obviously, the first person came to online. That's cool. There was, you know, a couple new features like the contacts and uh, the, I guess the, the whole new character creation system. But besides that, there wasn't there wasn't much. Like the the upgrades from GTA last gen online to this gen wasn't that they, big. There's, there's thirty players now, but we haven't really got to experience that. <laughs> servers don't work. Yeah. But, but apparently they're going to fix that. So players, I can't get into two-player lobby. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but I want to see what that's like because I'm already 16 players is insane, out of control with d almost double that. Like, it's going to be I – I can't even think. When, is the next, when do they announce the patch is coming out? They said it's coming the out The patch Saturday? should come out the day they're watching, this. watching this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Probably be able to play on the they... servers and everything should be good to go. I mean, for those of you that are like, oh my god, this patch is heists. It's not heists. They're just fixing stuff on the servers. They are going um, to announce the heist update. They're yeah. not just going to be would, like... I, uh, I don't know, man. You never know with Rockstar. They, uh, they could just... too big to unannounce. Yeah, they have to announce it. I think Ooh. they're literally going to announce it a month before or like two weeks before. Like, they're going to they're gonna create more hype because a lot of people have lost that hype factor for heists, you know? People have been really misled with the whole high strain in terms of like, oh, it's coming in spring. Oh, it's coming next week. Oh, it's coming month next month. And a lot of people just lost hope. And I think Rockstar is going to do everything in their power to create that hype again within their own newswire and with the community. And I think it's really going to have a huge success once it does drop. Yeah, well, I think the first person that's definitely a, like a huge drawing point to heist, like first person heist, it's going to be some like somebody mentioned this. I didn't even think about it. Like, Payday is going to be useless. Like, who's going to want to play Payday when you can do what you can do in Payday, but in GTA, you know? So, that's... I, I hope it's better than, than Payday, because I played a lot of Payday back in the day, and I really, really love that game. But, I don't know, I can't imagine uh, GTA 5 being it's up so to that confined. level. It's so confined. Like, there's no... Oh, well, obviously, there's no driving in Payday. And so now that there's driving in this, and it's the entire city, I would hope. It's not just going to be like one little room. Like maybe you rob the bank and then you have to go somewhere. or Maybe you have to plan it. Hopefully you have to plan it and get supplies, but you never know. I think it'll but, be, I, I think it'll, it'll be, be kind of like single I, I player. It'll be similar to the campaign. Yeah. Like no, you got to go and like... get certain vehicles if you're doing it the stealthy way or if you're doing it the guns blazing, you got to go get guns. So it's probably going to be like that. That would be amazing. I would love that then. Yeah. What I would hate is if it was just like loading up a regular mission, like Mark Madrazo says, no. "Hey, I've got a heist." Like, See, okay. oh, that, they, yeah, I, I think we can all. I think we can assume it's safe to say that that's not going to be the case because, yeah. right? They've taken so long to get it out that it's it's going to be.
pretty good. I Rock hope. I mean, yeah, hopefully that's that's. Well, the, thing. the one thing Rockstar with big DLCs, their their uh, track record is is really good. Like I don't think yeah, I've ever seen a bad big DLC from Rockstar. Or so, a, ba a bad anything from Rockstar. I mean, Rockstar always produces quality, and that's what they're known for. Exactly. I mean, they have they have the highest Metacritic's ratings in the industry when it comes to games, and Rockstar doesn't normally let us down. So. Yeah, PS, um, uh, the PS4 version of GTA 5 was the highest rated game on there so far. Yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot to beat it as well. So I look forward to everything that Rockstar does produce. And it, at times it may, it may seem like, oh, yeah, we're just like, you know, saying things that, you know, just to look good in front of Rockstar or something like that. But this is how we honestly feel, guys. I mean, for all of us, I think we're very opinionated. And some squad cast will say we hate something about the game and some squad cast will say we love things about the game oh well and definitely this is how it is i mean we love the way things are ch i guess changing for gta 5 yeah. i mean it's 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 we, we've got we've come a long way this past year oh or for 14 sure months but but you bring up a point like just to get it out the way you know yeah we're saying the game's great dude they, it definitely has its issues there's oh, for sure. i mean yes. right off the bat you think online no animals uh I mean, what else? Like the That's the exclusive stuff. How they kind of made it seem like this, ex like all this exclusive stuff is gonna be amazing, but it's only in single player. Not many people are gonna play single player. You know, that many people play online with friends. So it's kind of like uh, they were mis uh, misleading people. And I mean, there there's a there's obviously more than that stuff. That's just the big things. But um, you know, in due time, hopefully everything works out. They they were asking people for, I guess opinions on what they can do to make the game better and over the past couple of months rockstar has been listening with recent patches and, and doing things to the game mechanics and and stuff like that so i can i mean we can only hope that it gets better and like i, I guess we can say that pretty much out of every game this year maybe there's been like one or two I even though it's a re-release that's the only it's one it's one of the best so like Rockstar definitely is still the king, or on top of the I, uh, top of the hill, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, like the game has so many problems, like heist, just all these things, disappointment, online, all that, whatever. But if you like, and it's hard to look at it this way, but all with even all those compared to any other game, I would way rather play GTA. Like I can't think of another game that came out this year that I would ever play over GTA. Yeah, they so, don't have the replay value. They don't have the online, like, play with friends, all that. Like, I can't... and Except for, like, a Call of Duty, but, I mean, I've played too much of that. that yeah, so, so definitely down. Rockstar has... They have, you know, the game right where they want it. And if they were smart, and, you know, they obviously want to make money, then, you know, they're going to do what it takes to get that. So it, it's definitely going to be a fun couple of months and years and then you know what once pc comes out geez I'm, you know who oh, knows yeah. what's gonna happen when that comes out is that january or february january 27th january. Yep. all right so almost february it's gonna be a very very great start of the year that's for sure mm -hmm. um, i think everyone looks forward to pc even if you don't have a pc people should look forward to it just because the, the possibilities are so endless with pc uh, hopefully hopefully rockstar doesn't restrict us too much because everyone knows that rockstar despises modding i mean they just do not like people messing with although hold on but property. see you say that but then like uh i think we mentioned it a little bit earlier with the peyote plants they literally took what modders did last gen and put it as a feature in the game like they yeah. took people transforming into like all these crazy animals and characters and they put it into the game as an easter egg so like no. I mean, maybe they're turning the, over the leaf and they're gonna no. allow modding Last time I was in New York, I was told, I asked, how do you guys feel about modding? And it was just like a Crickets. blanket. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> really? Are you are you asking us that? Like, it was like, all right, hey, there's beer. <laughs> That's pretty much how it was. So it's a it. sensitive topic with them. It's basically. a very, because the thing is, is, like, I know how Rockstar sees it. It's like someone grabbing a video off your channel and editing it to how they want it, you know? Or like taking your work and trying to make it better when you really think it's it's already the best it can be. And I think rock like I've always said Rockstar's a very old fashioned company when it comes to a lot of things. 
but that's why they're so successful. I mean, they do things very well. They do it in their own way. They're very mysterious, but it works. I mean, it works very well for them. And, you know, you know, an example like Minecraft modding is huge where, you know, the mod community for Minecraft has kept that game alive. Yeah, same where with think, Skyrim. Oh, think, sure. I think Rockstar wants to do the same thing, but they want to be that light that keeps it alive. They don't want to have to rely on the community to keep it alive. You know, I think they made, they're making progress and steps in the right direction with the content creator and things like that, but we won't get a full grasp of what their plans are until PC drops. We won't have an understanding of where Rockstar stands with modding. Like, I could email Rockstar and call them and be like, hey, how do you guys feel about it? But they're not going to be like, yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want to our game. Like, no game company is going to really ever want to say that. I mean, they have things in place how they want it at times. And Rockstar is one of the few exceptions that actually wouldn't allow it, I believe. So, yeah, well, I don't know. It was just, it was just funny, though, how, like, one of these, like, new features in the game was something that, like, the modders were doing, you know, on the old consoles. Didn't they say they weren't going to patch glitches, though? Like, or am I wrong? Didn't they yeah. say at one point if it didn't affect, like, the gameplay, they weren't going to patch it? And I don't know. I, they're they're kind of like, spotty on that. Some, like, yeah, some glitches like, they've patched that it's, like, really... Like, they still like don't the have modded, modded colors, colors in the game. And, I mean, like, you can have modded colors, but you can't put a crew color on top of a mat or on top of a metallic like you could before. So, Which I don't know how that would affect There's like, a couple gameplay, things. But... Yeah, I, I don't know if it was accidental or not, but... You know, well, even even the fix they made onto Trevor's meth lab for when we did high prep. We <laughs> oh yeah, that's recording. right. That's yeah. right. That's why I thought of it. I, we were recording high prep the other day, and we went to go use Trevor's meth lab as like our little, I guess, set. We went to go get on the AC unit to get inside, and Rockstar removed the AC unit required to jump inside the window. So I mean, you know, they make changes that they think are fit for the game. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's always on purpose. An example, like once they fixed gliding, and like. It really, and the stunting community was like, what the hell? They noticed, oh, wait, we made a tweak that adjusted gliding and stunting, so let's go ahead and re redo that, re put it back. So, I think that just... was the same for GTA 4. If, I don't know if you remember the swing set glitch. That yeah, they took that out, did. and then they like, put it back in. Yeah. yeah, they instantly put that in, back in because everyone was so upset they removed it. But that was one of the best glitches ever, ever, man. I think it's a good thing that Rockstar is being proactive. I mean, you mm -hmm. obviously want that from a... Because with GTA 4, it obviously didn't have Grand Theft Auto Online, but it was two DLCs and done. Rockstar went quiet for like four years in terms of GTA 4 content. Yep. And now you can't go a month without getting a Grand Theft Auto Online update. So Although it's... recently, but I guess that's well, yeah. because they're preparing for Well, I mean, at the same rate, Rockstar is one of the most engaging companies when it comes to their community. I feel as if do they you, are Do you think that? Oh yeah, man. I well, this problem that a lot of people they, a lot of people in the community they don't like secrets. That that's the one thing. Like I understand secrets for maybe single player. You're trying to keep stuff hidden for people to find, or whatever. But like when you're not telling the community about DLCs or updates, I mean at least like once a month. Just give us something. Like just let us know that you're doing like something. Snippet. Yeah, just like. Don't just, I just that's the or problem so like, that what's on the horizon here yeah, just be, you, you like look out for in the next well the reason why they don't do that is because they don't want to screw Bait themselves tunes. and that's what they did with heist I mean they they really screw yeah themselves I feel by, like that's why no, 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 no. aren't announced no 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 no, no. I, don't, I don't mean like announce stuff in the future but just like it would have been cool or it would have been nice for them if while uh starting going all the way back to online last year whenever they originally planned on releasing heist once they had made that decision to delay them like, give us updates, like, once a month. Like, all right, look, so we're delaying heist for this reason. You know, we're not going to give you guys a date on when. Just know we're working on it. Or just give us something. That That's what I think why a lot of the community does not like Rockstar. And that's why a lot of people are very vocal, especially cool. on so or on the news wires and when Rockstar tweets about stuff. Just because they don't – we're in the dark, and nobody likes to be in the dark. That's the they, only they thing the that Rockstar could do better. Out, though. Didn't they say that heists were coming with online? And then it came out and they're like, oh, well, we got to fix them. It's going to be a month. Then a month comes by and, oh, it's going to be in spring. And then spring and then it's fall. And now it's who knows, next update, whatever. Just I would love for them to say we're still working on bugs or just something solid that we can actually know. Yeah. Like the delaying is one it's thing, but just down. let us know why it's being delayed. That's all. That's all I'm asking for. 
And I think a lot of the community would be happy with that. Like, yeah, it sucks, it's delayed, but at least we know in Rockstar's like, all right, look, guys, we're still working, there's some bugs, you know, frame rate, we're now we're coding for first person, so we're trying to make this perfect, so, you know, it's going to be... Do you think that's why there was the original delay, first person Oh, mode? for sure, for sure, man. They probably... I mean, that's, that would probably be a reason why they couldn't maybe tell us something because they didn't give away the first person information. Okay, until... you, okay, you got me there, but just for I don't know any updates or just in the future. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Not be that secretive. Yeah, a little transparency would be ultra nice. Yeah, for sure. But, but... you know, uh, I guess one thing I was thinking of, um, and actually might be it might tie into one of our, our uh, speak pipe questions but if we could like if or i'll just ask you guys if you could add one feature to either i guess we'll just say online oh. either from single player or you know something that would be logical just to make the game better so two online from single player yeah and Ooh, I mean, you um, could say animals, but that's, I think that's like a given. Like, that's the common one that yeah. a lot of people are going to say yeah. now. Uh, honestly, it would be random events. Like, you know, if you're driving on the highway in GTA 5, there could be like a guy's car is getting stolen or like a girl is getting pulled out of a vehicle or something like that. That'd Just be cool. random events. Make it a little yeah, bit more make, make the world more alive. Yep. Yes, exactly. All right. What about you, Quantum? Oh, for sure, I would want better car customization. Like, they added the, what are they called? The um, liveries or livery, whatever. Yeah. They added those. But those are only in single player. They're, yeah, they're not online, first off. And, and it's only on it's specific pretty, cars. Yeah, it's pretty limited, too. Even on those cars, like, what you can put on. It's, like, three, four things. So I would love, like, a midnight club where you can have shapes and colors and all that and put it all on. And I wonder, maybe graphically they can't do that or something with the engine or maybe it's just as simple as they think people are going to put inappropriate things which oh you know the there'll be lots of no, there'll always be that emblems, all over that but, <laughs> yeah so i would love that though it'd just make because then like car shows you can show off oh like, yeah actual, they'd be a like, lot it's better not the same car like oh here we got another chrome adder again cars would but, be more unique yeah exactly. a lot more unique mm -hmm. all right uh and then what about you garrett i think like uh I don't know. I I'm really really big into the random events that Ross said, but I would like to see some more like type of jobs you can do, like um like like just different, different types. Of, like, types. The cops, no, like the cops and crooks type of stuff. Like you know, maybe playing as a police officer and having a role, or like some more gang events that that are you know centralized to your crew or stuff like that. Like stuff either do more with your crew or do more with a mm -hmm. aspect of working as a police officer, and you know. Something like that, like cops and crooks would be cool. Or yeah, people with love crew. the role play, so like that's yeah. yeah. All right, well, I actually have two, I, and I, I I've talked about this in one of my videos recently, but uh, going back to the whole peyote plants and how you turn into animals, they already have that in the game. So like, it would be awesome if they could make that into like a death match. Like you can put that as a death match. Like you can have one team as like bobcats. And then one team is like people with pistols. And it's like the hunters versus the hunted. Or you could have, with the creator mode, people can have some really cool stuff like in the ocean with a bunch of, I don't know, uh, objects everywhere. And there's like a shark. And then everybody else is a fish. And it's like hide and seek, but in the ocean. Like, that'd be, I don't know, I think that'd be That'll really for cool. Sure be in PC, like, more customization but... to death matches, I think. It, like, that'd be awesome. And then the, the next thing. And I actually brought this up to Ross a couple hours ago before we're doing this. How cool would it be in online if they had rare cars? Like, they have customized cars in single player. You see them a lot. They're a little bit more rare in online, but they do still spawn. And, you know, examples of that, I've seen people with Sand Kings that are, like, huge rims, yellow, on the beach. And it's like an NPC car. You can get it, and you can sell it for, like, $20,000. But how cool would it be if they went more in depth with that and similar to like a borderlands or destiny with how they have like the exotic guns and like these guns have their own attributes they have their own names how could it be if like a car had its own special name and its own attributes like ross brought up what if i don't know if there's a camaro in the game but if there was one 
it would be like yellow and black, and it would be called the Bumblebee. But it would be like super rare to get, and I don't know if it would just be like a rare spawn, or if it would be, you'd have to trigger something. But that would just add more to people collecting cars, because I think cars are definitely one of the biggest things in online. Customizing them, showing them off, and if you had like this really rare car that was like called like the Bumblebee, that'd be awesome. I, I don't know, at least to me, I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, it's the cars are almost the only thing that you can kind of show off and not be the same as someone else. I guess your clothing, but bigger deal than that is the cars because everyone's always that's pretty much all GTA Online is or it was on last gen is just driving around in the cars. So everyone wants to have a cool looking car, so that would be interesting. I mean, it's definitely a huge part of the game, so might as well make if that if anything were to come in like that, it would make the most sense. It would be vehicles. So yeah, I mean, because I think. I think what we're going to see over the next couple months is now that Rockstar is kind of like done with single player, like obviously they'll probably do a single player DLC, but like they're done with all the new stuff to single player. Now it's time to work online and make that, you know, a lot better. So uh, it should be cool. But um, I guess, well, let's see. What haven't we really talked about with, with the, the new, the new Cover. game? We covered first first, and we covered um, you know the new uh, returning player items. We covered. Well, we can talk about things. we can talk about uh, your favorite Garrett, the uh, the whales yeah, and the plans. aquatic <laughs> dolphins. I mean the aquatic animals. animals. Yeah. I think that the, we already covered the purity of plants. I think that's a great addition to GTA Five, that, like you guys mentioned before, in terms of the mods. Like mods used to do it before, and now we actually have it in the game. I think it's cool to have it in single player. I sort of wish it was online as well, though. I think there's uh, yeah, a that lot would of be stuff, cool to do. though, that I just wish was on, in online. And I, don't, I really don't know why it isn't. Maybe it is just the they can't handle it, the animals in online. And there's, I don't why, know, man. That, that almost... Not one thing online, I do want to like, bring there's up... There's no way that can be One thing there. I want to bring up is the fact that loading times are a bit faster, but not, like, increasingly not, It's fast. not light speed. Yeah, it's not like, you know, loading into anything else. It's just... It still takes a while, man. Well, well I'm, I'm sure if like that's because it's I'm the sure server. The it's the cloud servers. In respect to the, all the new stuff they added, like I'm sure the loading time is like True. a huge upgrade. But because they also upgraded the world and added all these new things, that takes away from it. Well, as no, well, I, I, well, no. The loading times in single player are really fast, but online it's 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 faster, but it's still kind of a little bit slow just because their servers, like the cloud servers. Yeah, I was going to say, I they don't really have any issues. Like, if you're going in and do an invite only, it's almost instant. Like, it's so do you like guys, you guys switching think that, that characters and single player. more time, like, you know, GTA 5 Online's release for PS4 and Xbox One, things would be much smoother? Oh, for sure. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it took, what? It took them a month last year to to smooth out online. I hope it. It's so, like, I think they've learned long. their lesson, and we'll be good. And, then, and, you know, if not today, when this when the patch that they're releasing goes live... You know, within a couple of days. Hopefully that's the case. I hope so as well. But let's go ahead and take this opportunity to check out some speak pipes or squeak pipes as we call them here. Um, <laughs> you guys, basically if you have no idea what that is, every time we do a squad cast, right before the squad cast on Saturday or Friday, I guess, we, we tweet out a link so you guys can submit your questions via voice and we answer them live here on the squad cast. So, Austin, take it away. All right, well, um, one of these questions... Uh, I'm just going to play it from Lewis, but it was basically if we could add one thing from single player, uh, what would it be online? So just to Scott, give Lewis. Love your vids. What feature from single player do you think should have been added to online? Just wondering. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. We already answered that, so thank you, Lewis, for the awesome question. Um, but then the next question we have is from Luca. I think he actually was on the last podcast. Hello, Ross Garrett and Austin. Me again, Luca. Um, my question is, with the whole replaying of this, having to replay the story on next gen, Rockstar make it very clear that they do want players to play the main story. Um, but I know a lot of people who are only buying the game for online. So my question is, do you think in the next GTA game, we Rockstar would implement that you can only go onto online? when you finish the final mission? Um, I know that, like, this is this is taking it way back, like 2009. So World at War, a little, little, little Call of Duty game, 
they introduced a game mode called Nazi Zombies, and it was only <laughs> available once you beat the campaign. And now you guys know that all the Treyarch Call of Duties have zombies, and it's a huge thing. Um, so the question, his question was like, you unlock online after you complete the single player? Yeah, that's the only way you unlock online. I mean, it would certainly force people to beat the single player. That's that, there's no doubt about that. That put a lot of pressure. But on... I also feel like that would have a, a negative, because you would get people who'd say like, "Oh, I'm just gonna rush through the campaign. Don't care. Let me get this over with." Instead of actually enjoying it. Yeah. Well, I see. I think that's why um, there was a, a numerous amount of people that were kind of mad that the exclusive items from uh, when, like, when you got from last gen to this gen, like the the C plane and or not the C plane, but the um, the library cars and and all that, and the Dukes a death, like they were kind of mad that that wasn't online because in the trailer, you know, Rockstar they already promoted it with all these pictures, and then it was only in single player. So I think there's a ton of people who like really don't care about online. As sad as that is, because the obviously the story and the the single player everything is amazing, but they just want to play, get in the game, play with friends, and I don't. I, I mean. World at War was kind of an exception with the zombie thing, but I don't think because the way I it think seems. It was, it was another generation. I think it was so long ago that they couldn't yeah. do it. Again. Yeah. Nowadays, every game is all about like multiplayer and and playing with friends. So I don't I, I don't I, think they'll I ever do that. It, though I liked how they released this GTA. I mean, it did not need to be a month. I did, I don't think they'd release it a month later so that you could finish the campaign. But I think that they should be maybe a week. Because then I don't feel pressured just to jump in online because otherwise everyone's going to get an advantage over me. And then I was able to just play it in the two days that I finished it in. Then I was fine to go and ready to go for uh, online. But I don't, they would never require it because it's just, they would lose too much money. Like who would want to play through? How long is the campaign? 20 hours? If it, yeah, it's a good That's if you're rushing. Online. That's yeah. if you're rushing and just jumping from straight to main objective to main objective. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. That's not even fun at that point. Like, enjoy it. Yeah. But, you know, obviously we'll, we'll have to wait and see until uh, GTA 6, whenever that is. Oh, they God. said that was coming out sooner, right? They said, like, three I years instead of six or whatever it was. Who knows? Who knows? Know about that one. All right, well, uh, moving on. Stay we... tuned. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stay <laughs> tuned. All right, well, uh, next question we have is from Anonymous. I like Thank Gary Berry, and I think he's really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, TG out! <laughs> oh, uh, that was typical game. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that, Gary Berry? Oh god. Shout out to Typical Gamer, good friend of all of ours. Friend of the squad cast. <laughs> friend of the squad, friend of the squad. Friend. Oh god. Alright, and then finally, the last question <laughs> here. Guy, last question from John. Hey squad, how's it going? Um, just wanted to get this started by saying, love your guys' content. Really, um, I really enjoy watching you guys every day, but let's I just get that out of the way, because yeah. what I wanted to ask was, what was your favorite moment of last gen? Next gen just came out, I'm enjoying a lot, but really, I had a lot of great moments in last gen. I'm really wondering what your favorite ones were. Also, yeah. uh, happy birthday, Garrett. All right, well, uh, thank you oh, for the Garrett. question, John. Um, so what was your favorite thing about Next Gen? And happy birthday, Garrett. I'm so confused, but, um... <laughs> I'm so confused, too, so someone else take this. Okay, well, um, let's see. Favorite thing about Last Gen? That's tough. I mean, the, I mean, the entire game, what it did on Last Gen was incredible. Like, it pushed the limits. So you can just say, like, what Rockstar accomplished. Uh, any in particular thing? Not sure if he oh, means. Man. I'm not sure if he means like online or single player. There are some funny moments online and stream, but yeah, but I mean, last gen specific. I don't know. That's a tough question. Let us know your thoughts. Your your favorite thing in the comment section. I don't know. You guys have anything? Not I really. Don't have anything. It, yeah, I, I think just the memories, because it's like that's that's where we all grew, that's where we we met and became friends, and you know all the old heist preps that we did, like eight episodes yeah. on. So I, I'd say the memories, just the nostalgia factor. And by the way, uh, little plug here: season two of Heist Prep is coming out Sunday. 
You guys if definitely you've made it this far. You deserve a. Uh, you know what? Tease. The word in the comments that we got heist, uh, the, prep. heist prep. Just put heist prep any way you want it. Just it. spam it. And it's gonna be good. I think it was it's really gonna be amazing. The we've done. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. So you guys are gonna be in for a treat on Sunday. If you've watched this far in the podcast, you deserve to know what our Sunday video is going mm -hmm. to be. So um. I don't know, I think that's, I mean, any, any last thoughts on last gen? I think what Ross said pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I think. That's, that's everything. If you guys enjoy the Squadcast, make sure you guys do drop a like if you watched it this far. Check out Cloudwell.com as our sponsor for the day Squadcast. Anything else you want to say to wrap this up, Austin, Quantum? Well, it's only been a couple of days, but, you know, so far, without, you know, with the minor servers going down, online's going great, we're having a blast, and... You know, I can't wait to see what happens over the next couple of weeks with all the content we create, create and what Rockstar does. So it's it's going to be really fun. It'll be really good. Yep. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next Squadcast, which is next Saturday. Later, guys. See ya. Peace. Bye.